This is a patient with multiple myoma with pregnancy desire. The first step of the procedure was to do an hysteroscopic exam to see if there is no uh, myoma inside the uterine cavity. The next step is to do a transitory uh, vascular control and for that we have the use to control both internal iliac artery at their origin and for that we have opened retroperitoneal space to localize the aorta and to dissect the internal uh, iliac artery which is clearly seen. We can place the bulldog clamp on the internal iliac artery and we can do the same step on the left side opening the peritoneum we can see clearly our left urta and we will open the space lateral to the urta we can quickly identify the internal iliac artery we can use as well cold scissor in case of fatty patient like this case and we can dissect easily our internal iliac artery and we can put a bulldog on this artery. This procedure uh, decreases uh, the perioperative bleeding, particularly if you want to, to do a multiple uh, myomectomy. This patient has an MRI before the surgery to see exactly the uh, myoma position. In case of polymyomectomy, we use an endoback that allows us to put every time all the myoma inside the endoback that allows us not to lose some myoma inside the abdominal cavity like you see, particularly if uh, uh, there is more myoma. We change our technique and in this uh, type 6 myoma, we prefer to use uh, bipolar current and by uh, traction and contraction and the use of bipolar current we can progressively enucleate this rich myoma uh, from the anterior aspect of the uterus. You can see small mite of energy and we can remove this uh, 8 cm anterofantic myoma. The myoma will be placed on the underback and we continue the polymyomectomy. We know that there is another myoma just uh, below the previous one and this myoma is removed. We don't uh, lose time for electrical hemostasis. Even there is a small bleeding, we, we uh, and show the hemostasis uh, by stitches, same technique, uh, double flat knot, imagination of the tissue inside the myoma bed, and we lock the knot in the same way that the previous loop was done. You can see the first uh, stitch allows us to control more than 90% of the hemostasis. It's important to take care not to put inside the stitch the proximal part of the tumor. You can see we can use as well both the round ligament for the hemostasis. You can see we uh, tie our knot till there is a whiting, that means that our knot are well tied. We continue the polymyomectomy with the standard technique for this myoma, we use the section curve with a monopolar needle and uh, we can enucleate progressively this posterofendic myoma. As you see, we don't lose time for the hemostasis, but we uh, preserve all the tissue surrounding the myoma and we put every time of myoma inside the endoback, as you see. We know that there is another myoma just below this previous one. It's important to have uh, the MRI uh, photo uh, to see clearly the myoma location. 
as you see even there is a small bleeding we do quickly or not and I think that the better way to have a quick anesthesis is to know how to do this kind of uh, suturing technique and you can see in my previous video you can see how I do double flat knot the vagination inside the myoma bed the assistant flat knot and we do a second loop in the same way that the previous one was done and the job is done we can see that the bleeding is completely stopped it's important as well to clean the pelvis to remove the clot that, that are responsible for the post-operative uh, adhesion. We continue the same technique and we put a stitch one centimeter and a half just the below the previous one and you can see that the anesthesis is completely done. The stitch uh, is a Vicrin uh, 0, 14 mm needle. You can use as well the uh, Vicrin one. And uh, we continue our uh, polymyomectomy. It's important to keep in mind that we don't put some stitches near the corner and we don't put energy near the you can see every time the myoma is removed, is put inside the abdomen, and we can remove the same maneuver for the renal myoma. In this case, we uh, remove a 12 myoma. Continue the hemostasis. You can see we go as far as possible, one or two centimeters outside the myoma scar and uh, with only one stitch we can close two myoma beds like you see. It's important to tie the knot and to do the second loop in the same way than the previous one to have a good widening that means that the uh, hemostasis is good. Now we ensure the hemostasis in the middle part of the posterior aspect of our uterus and you can see that uh, the procedure even if we remove the uh, high number of myoma the procedure is quite uh, bloodless. see the whitening and now if you have a doubt about uh, some uh, superficial myoma I think that it's better to control the hemostasis by stitches because this patient had the pregnancy desire. Of course it's really important after the procedure to do hysteroscopic exam uh, two months after the surgery and if you have like you see here uh, bleeding you can ensure hemostasis by extra knot and it's important to have the knowledge to do the surgery technique with the both hands So this is our last stitch, you can see the anatomical result is quite good. We can control now the anterior aspect of the uterus, no bleeding, the posterior aspect, no bleeding, the tube are normal, there is no stitch near the tube. Can remove the bulldog before the morselation to see if there is no uh, bleeding after removal 
have this uh, wood block that can be controlled by the bipolar. We control if there is no bleeding in brain from the pneumonial area, and we can begin our morselation inside the uh, on the back. You can see even uh, this myoma are numerous, we can do safely this procedure. After the complete morselation, we remove the underband, we clean the pelvis. Now this is our technique for this challenging surgery. Thank you for your great attention and see you later.